Oh, hi guys, and welcome back for some more No More Hipsters. In this part, we're going to do a Rank 6 fight. The Rank 6 fight, to be specific. We're moving on up. In the world today. Don't you hate it when you're on a long road trip and like the next save point is until like a really fucking long time? I think you already used that one, buddy. Shit, I know. <laughs> Damn it. You're confusing your material. <laughs> I was expecting something more like, a, don't you hate it when you're on the beach and there's no save nearby? Don't you hate when you go to the beach and there's no sand? <laughs> Do you like yep. Her leg. Do you like <laughs> yeah. We don't talk about that. Live for it. Do you Live for it. Fear? Can't say. Never felt oh. it. <laughs> Do you like fear at this glorious beach? Yeah. Why does she have a deer's leg? Oh, you'll find that. Like. There's something I actually didn't know about that leg until I started reading the uh, thing, you know. the See, things about her on the internet. Stop talking about That's that leg. She is still a perfectly normal human being until uh, she dies. She murders people for a living, but she's still beautiful. Except for her leg. I'm ready. She's my new waifu. What's her name? Anytime. Holly Summers. Yes. <laughs> oh. What about those? What about those? Those bags under her eyes, though. Are you in the it doesn't yet? matter. Everyone Normal should be accepted for who they are. Like what about Whether Travis's they kill people or not. Aviator classes. Oh, yeah, I don't like Travis. <laughs> oh, that was a nice... It's a nice... Uh... So this is Holly Summers. She's a uh, Swedish model. And that leg nice. is actually uh, a bazooka. Not, not a leg model, obviously. So is that why she has the deer leg? Because she's a model? She lost it because she uses bombs all the time, and her leg is actually a bazooka. I did not know that. So that oh no! A sand pit, I'm stuck. Uh -huh. Well, things just got a lot more interesting. Well, that's oh. fine. Oh. This wouldn't be the first time he got fucking blown, <laughs> blown up in this one beach. Good night, my sweet seven. So I love how her leg was blown off, but she just threw a grenade in the hole with him, and he's just completely unaffected. Oh, it's a video oh, game. It's starting more and more. Oh crap! Well. Nice trap. I like your style. <laughs> Maybe I can steal a kiss before I steal your life. So I just survived three, yeah, four grenades. Well, you stay away from her, Travis. She's mine. I thought of that witty one-liner while I was getting blown up. <laughs> so that's where those bombs come from, is from her prosthetic leg, I think. Can you fall back in the hole? Are these the yes. rockets that Tails and Eggman use in Sonic Adventure 2 now? They look uncannily similar. I'm not even sure if that's a word, but they look a <laughs> lot like them. I've always thought that, actually. Oh. Can she fall in the hole? No, she always runs over it. She just runs so weird. She, like everybody else on this beach, runs away and then tries to make you explode. <laughs> by the long range fighter. By the way, that torpedo attack is like the worst attack in the entire game for me. I could not dodge it and hit her at the same time. Got a waggle, son, waggle. That actually is a strategy. I could not even when she's getting with the volume up loud. She's still beautiful. Doing this. But it's not a Tales of game, Fonte, what are you talking about? No, I just mean when he's hitting her. That's all I mean. Like, I just would turn the volume down. Waggling <laughs> uh, too hard? So. Yeah, I got uh, a little bit out of control with trying not to get blown up. Got waggle happy. I like the music. Yeah, this is actually one of the two themes. I think she had another one, but they, uh... I ended up removing it from the game. Still on the internet, though. I don't like. So you said the the guy who composed the music for this game composed Danganronpa's music too? Yeah, he did most of the music in this game, but he did uh, both the Danganronpa soundtracks. Is that it, Quante? No follow up. <laughs> no, oh, we're just established right again. It's like a school field trip of mutual killing. 
because I actually listened to some of the songs and it was not that bad. An island with with music by that one guy, and there's killing. And we have a swordsman and a. a I don't think there was a bomb expert. No. Uh, what does she hope to accomplish by like placing explosives right underneath her? Uh, get away. Lying off her other leg. <laughs> so she has two rocket launchers. I feel like there's like more effective ways of actually jumping out of the way than you know setting up a bomb. Shh, you're just not badass enough. <laughs> you may be right. Man, she should learn some new moves. The first time I fought this boss, I had a lot of trouble, and the only strategy online was play New Game Plus. So, uh. <laughs> That's a thing. You have this to boss beat the fight boss. Is the bomb. Give you the tips on how to beat the boss. Did she just mace you? Did she like actually use something? I'll get sand. No, she just kicks <laughs> sand in your face. <laughs> <laughs> he got the reference. Oh, he also died. That hurt a bit. Oh, that health you just gained. Pizza. She has the high ground, it's over. No, like Quante would get that. But, no. I don't get it because I was not listening to a single radio last night. Yeah, that's the only time I'm ever gonna get hit by that attack in my entire life. <laughs> what I don't get is, how is her body hardy enough to survive like a beam katana? How is Travis able to... Take four grenades. Travis is a weeaboo. He has supernatural powers. <laughs> but then everybody else who's just like a measly grunt gets taken out in one hit. Cut her all She's the got way. nice breasts. <laughs> Thank you for that uh, <laughs> off-color remark, Ethan. I think it was an on-color remark. What color was it, on? Whatever it's color nightmare. her bra is. So oh, is he gonna let her survive? Does he let all the women survive in this game? No, not at all. You are less than a thug. You will never make it to the top. <laughs> That's okay. I seem to have a thing for stupid. There's only one woman who actually survives in this game. It comes from your. Well, you, we already let her survive, though. Yep. Wait a minute. That means something. And we also let three male assassins survive. Never so, that is actually huh? not reverse nepotism. The moment you hesitate, oh no. I feel Don't do it, you're not an otaku. <laughs> you won't be able to take it. <laughs> Wait! Number six! No! <laughs> that, was oh, very like... she was about to... <laughs> that was a very concentrated explosion. <laughs> Only in that small two foot area. So now is she gonna have one of those fake deer heads on her body? <laughs> no, that's tasteless. We'll have to dig up her body later to do that. Okay, now that she has a fake leg and a fake head, she's still beautiful. Well, on the bright side, he still has that body. He doesn't even need Sylvia. My god, this is like Danganronpa 2. She's turning into a robot slowly because she got hit with torpedoes. Well, hashtag spoilers. <laughs> hashtag spoilers. I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to bleep that out. Just her name. I'm going to cuddle with this corpse now. <laughs> Just for a little bit. On the beach where <laughs> it's romantic. <laughs> oh. Well, so my we... love, now we must save. And he's actually... <laughs> we actually have to do this. What? We'll uh, come what? back with that deer head Flower and corpse? Oh, or so, fall into that pit. <laughs> so, that cutscene makes a lot of the game not make sense, because for some reason Travis doesn't know her name, and just keeps calling her Rank 6. I was late in saying this. But he, like, knows every other assassin's name, so I don't really know. <laughs> just the sound that made. <laughs> Marvelous. Moving up in the world. <laughs> yeah. Moving on up. 
her name Miss Holly. Summers. Good thing we're not is that talking really necessary. Music. <laughs> is her, oh, her God, name I... was Robert Paulson. Her name it's gonna was suck Robert when we Paulson. Get really high in the ranks, and then those lines are just gonna keep like disappearing and reappearing, and it's gonna take so long. Yeah, it actually perfectly syncs with the music, so. It's theatrical. Speaking of theatrical. <laughs> <laughs> what does this have to do with anything? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know when you show up to a play and then it, you just like you take sit there and the curtains open and there's just a toilet on stage and the actor comes on, takes a save and then leaves. <laughs> I thought you said on a plane. I was just like, what? Um, you're late returning one of our videos. It's called, um, Coffee and Milk. Please return it ASAP. Have a nice day. <laughs> Nobody? Nope. I got nothing smart ass. It pretty much speaks for itself. Please wire the money as soon as possible. I think the joke's already there. Hurry, or something unfortunate may happen. In addition... The registration for the six I'm gonna take all your anime figures. Yeah, I don't know why they're even threatening him, because I guess they haven't seen me just kill three people at once. No, oh, he's gonna he's gonna take them out of the box and then make it so they're not in mint condition. That's awful. He's gonna defile the Moe post. You monsters! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta play with a cat. <laughs> you hungry? Touch the kitty. Cookies and milf. When a hot MILF, mom I'd like to fuck, invites you into her house and gives you cookies and wild sex. My best friend's mom told me to wait in the house for my friend. She gave me cookies and MILF. <laughs> By MILF Cookies 01, June 5th, 2011. Well, this is now a learning episode of Boogaloo. <laughs> I now feel smarter. Sponsored by Urban Dictionary. <laughs> the more you know, the less I care. Da-da-da. <laughs> <laughs>